selling platforms. If you're selling a product or a service, there are an absolute plethora of options to choose from. So how on earth do you decide? I'm going to give you a brief rundown and in later lessons I will probably go over more in depth how to create a Shopify website or a big commerce website or wherever it is. So as an overview, there's kind of two website types if you like. There's online stores, e-commerce stores and there's website websites. To use an example, Atik is an e-commerce store and my personal website, brianwest.com, is just a website. It doesn't have any e-commerce functionality and as a result, it's usually cheaper to set up. If you are in the business but better membership, it's probably because you're trying to sell something. So I suspect we're looking at e-commerce. The ones I'm going to talk about now are the top rated version. So I'm going to start with Shopify, which is what I have always built all my e-commerce websites on with rare exception. Shopify is my favorite option for a variety of reasons. It's easy. It's cheap. It scales with you. So it has gone with a teak from $1,000 a day to upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars. It has scaled with us, which means we haven't had to change websites at a critical part of what we're trying to do. It has great templates. It is very easy to use in terms of walking you through it. It also can be more complicated if you have a clever web development team that will work alongside you. So Shopify is my number one option. Number two, I have also used Big Commerce. Now, Big Commerce is like Shopify again, and then it's an all-in-one plug-in, walk through a whole bunch of templates. It's very much one of Shopify's biggest competitors. I used it years ago. I found out that we outgrew it a little bit easier, but again, I haven't used this one for sort of five or six years. So as a result, it could have improved lots. I imagine it has. BigCommerce is another option like Shopify. And the beautiful thing about all of these is because they are so popular, they have bolt-ons to pretty much everything. They are able to attach to your 3PL, which is a logistics partner to make sure your products are shipped out. They can tap into Amazon if you're selling on Amazon. They can tap into everything you could possibly imagine that will just make your life a little bit easier. Then we have Square. Now, I only put Square in here because I have no personal experience with Square at all because it seems to be very popular in the States. Usually it's just after Shopify on rating websites and from what I can see on this website it looks great but I have no personal experience with it but it certainly seems to be a favorite and again you've got some pretty affordable pricing there. The next one a lot of people are familiar with is Squarespace. Now this is great for those of you with services so if you're booking appointments. Now this is what I actually use to book mentoring appointments both for Business for Better and BrianneWest.com so you can actually go and have a look on those websites and see what that calendar looks like. I'll be honest Squarespace is very limited and you will outgrow it. In fact, one of my mentees started their business on Squarespace and they are very quickly moving over to Shopify because even though their sales are still quite small at this point, they are already seeing its limitations. I don't recommend you start an e-commerce business on Squarespace. I do recommend it more so for services because you can book appointments nice and easily. It's got a great calendar system. It's relatively easy to use. Your templates are limiting, but you can make a nice design store. Then we have Wix. Wix is another one that comes up a lot. I have never used this one either, but I hear a lot of good things about it. It is a little bit more complicated. From my understanding, you can use a template, but you can also code yourself if you have that ability or get someone else to do it for you. And an entirely different step up of difficulty, you have Webflow. Webflow is actually what Brienne West is built on. And you can get a beautiful website. Unless you are very good at coding, you probably can't do it yourself. There's not a lot I can actually change on my personal website without help. And they say no coding needed, but you certainly need a pretty good degree of understanding or at least someone who will give you the basics because it's just a little bit more complicated, but you as a result can do a lot more to personalize your website. It does e-commerce as well. I just personally find it a little bit more complicated. And then finally, we have Stan which is perfect for creators. If you are someone who is selling services, you can do a lot from Stan immediately. You can simply book appointments. You can sell things directly from mobile. It is designed to be mobile first. It's got a really good set of analytics so you can have an idea of who's looking and why, what they're purchasing, what conversion rate is, but they all do. And of course, you see some really impressive people and you see some really big accounts using Stan. It's fairly new to the market, but I see a lot of good things. So your options are fairly unlimited, and that's why it can be a little overwhelming. If I were you, to make it nice and simple, if I was starting a product business, I'd look at Shopify. If I was starting a services business, I'd probably look at Squarespace or perhaps Webflow, because you really can get a lot out of it. It's just a little bit more input to begin with. 